Hey everyone, in this video, uh, we're going to continue with our assignment where last time we just left off is basically just getting started, getting our stuff saved, talking about the control bar, making sure we understand the toolbar. This time we're going to get into a little bit of, uh, I guess, moving around in navigation. So the first thing I want to start off with is just simply being able to find your stuff, the document that you're seeing here. So remember we found this, the getting started, it should have been a file open from Adobe or going to your uh, folder down here. And remember, we put this in a thing called documents and you made an illustrator folder possibly and it should be in there. Uh, I'm not sure why mine didn't go there, which is weird. Uh, with that being said, um, oh, I can see mine's right outside here. I'm not a, that's not a slept in it, I guess. Whoops. Uh, with that being said, we can always just drag it and drop it and put it where it needs to go to if it ends up in the wrong one. Well, teaching the things. Now, um, when you open that, double clicking it, you might have to log in again, but I think most times it will find you uh, with your Google account. But now that we're in here, it's just understanding how can we move this around and make, it, make sure we understand what we're looking at. Uh, the first thing is, this is a document that is an eight and a half by 11 virtual space. So we have it uh, 11 inch this way, eight and a half this way, so it's a landscape piece of paper, just to get an understanding about what you are seeing. This little blue piece right here is a little guide I've made that shows you how much space you'll be using in your next assignment, which is going to be the actual laser engraving your pencil uh, and sharing that, I guess, plan with me. Um, remember, this one's all about trying to plan that out. So in here, what we're going to be doing is exploring different font families, all right, and finding uh, different symbols available in the type tool, uh, specifically Emoji 1, uh, Sage UI, and Emoji uh, UI Emoji. Um, but the idea is we have two different plans, all right? So down here, we're going to edit our first plan is something that talks about name and symbols. So go into your text tool, sorry, the type tool over here on the left-hand side. When we hang out over top of it, it talks about um, what it does, all right? It, it tells you what it's named, all right? It says type T. So we click on that T. If we come over here to a already uh, visible text box, you can see it highlights because it's over top of one. If you click into it, you are actually editing that last text box. So I could click in this drag and highlight here, and I could edit this side. Now, some simple things. Remember that you need your name along with a character. And the important part is just text itself. I can use a colon, colon in an end parenthesis to make a smiley face, all right? Um, but there are more creative ways to do that. So if you, as you can see below, there are a lot of different font families. One of the things I like to do to kind of see these is just come into my text and click and drag with my type tool and then click in up on top to that family. And you can use the scroll wheel to kind of click down and it will show you numerous different types. And what you want to pay attention to is the type that you enjoy when you're going through and doing these. And there's a vast, um, I guess, category or catalog of uh, different font families in here you want to find the one that you want yours to be, all right? If you hit the drop down arrow next to it, it also is a different way to, I guess, look at different font families. And right now, I'm not able to select it. There we go. Um, with that being said, it shows you a kind of example right next door um, in what we're doing there. And what we want to do in this is just find our font that you enjoy. Once you find it, you want to drop it there. Now, the next thing is, we want to also have a symbol here. And with this, we could use our keyboard keys to do a symbol thing like I just did there as an example is that colon and that M parenthesis to make a smiley face. Or you can slip into there. And to be honest, if I space over it a little bit, I'll show you that if you click into your families here. And there is a font family called Emoji One. And I'm trying to get in there, but I'm having a tough time. If I go up to the top, it usually is around there. Emoji one, I think it's because one of the ones I use frequently, but you can see it's number one there. And also this, uh, I don't know how you say that, Sege, uh, Sego, uh, UI emoji. Um, at the same time, if I click into those, what happens is I get this little glyphs pop up and I can add symbols from here too. So you can see there's actually real life emojis. Um, I don't know how these laser, uh, these emojis are going to be read by the laser engraver and engrave on your pencil, um, but you could find a shape there and put that in also, and we'll find out when we laser engrave it if it does a good job of telling 
um, the laser, uh, what that shade or what that symbol is and how it, how it actually cuts it out or engraves it out. Now, another one that I know about is if you go down here and change emoji one to, uh, was that Sego, Sego, um, UI emoji. That one also has a bunch of different symbols. If I slide down to the bottom, I can see a bunch of different things. You can write your name in these neat little uh, characters that are there. Um, but there's also more black and white details below. I'm going to be honest. Um, these ones might work better because our laser works by uh, looking at colors and reading them. Black meaning it's turning the laser on. White meaning it's turning it off. When it's grayscale or shades of color, it reads it differently. Um, and, it, and it kind of processes it as far as uh, the darker it is, the more, I guess, intense the burn is. The lighter it is, the less intense. And I'm not sure it does a really good job reading that. Um, with that being said, if you double click any of these, it will enter that symbol onto that space. All right? Now, important stuff about this is take your time. Remember uh, how to zoom in and zoom out. Oh, I didn't show that part. Zoom in and zoom out. Uh, if we ever end up doing that is the Alt key. Scrolling out, scrolling in. I should have mentioned that in the beginning, by the way. Uh, the scroll up, scroll down, pans up and down. But the holding the Alt key down as you scroll in, scroll out, allow you to zoom in so you can see what you've made in where you are in your project. Now, remember, your second design should be a thing that has your name plus an inspirational quote or a fan club. So for instance, mine says, I am my example there, layman, and then it also says bear down. All right. But you want to design your second one, uh, too. You can use symbols if you wanted to in there. You don't um, have to. Um, but we want to be able to design these two, uh, I guess, designs for our pencil to laser engrave next next assignment. And then the other part is we want to be able to navigate as far as the alt key, scroll wheel, scroll wheel up and down, just so we have an easy time getting in and out of our document. And then the other part is just understanding uh, the type tool and the things that come with it. Oh, I forgot to show you up here. You can also, with some font families, change our type from regular to other types like italicized or bold or underscored, whatever it may be. Um, different families have different uh, options. Please check it out. Take your time on this assignment. Thank you for watching.